So we're on to day two of this little lockdown challenge and the instruction is to put some tape. Now make sure you have some maybe ripped edges rather than just straight edges to create a little window. Um, I tried to make all different sizes but I'm not quite sure in the end whether I liked the actual shapes and sizes compared to the size of the actual boards. I'm aware that in the challenge uh, the people that are posting in the Facebook group have done much larger works and I was aware that I was using um, a smaller work smaller workspace so I didn't want to overdo the windows. In the end I'm not sure whether I liked it or not but you know it's all fun and play and it's all giving it a go. Now the instruction also was to use some ink in the little windows that we'd created. Now I'm using an acrylic ink. It's a Sennelier abstract acrylic ink. Now that yellow that I'm using is the Cadmium Citrum, Cadmium Yellow Lemon Hue, which is number 545. I'm using a green, which is the bright yellow green, number 871. And the pink is Rose Quinacridone and it's number 658. Now what I'm finding with these inks is that they're highly saturated. I love them, they're so bright and they're so colourful. But as I'm working with them, I'm noticing they're quite, they're becoming transparent. So it's not the sort of window I was picturing it to be. I really actually wish that I'd have scraped one, taken one bit of masking tape off and had a look how it looked. But what I decided was to put some texture paste on in the window to create a little bit more of a solid window. And then I dried with the hair dryer in between and pulled off it. And I like the shapes of the windows. I kind of, I feel I'd like, like in retrospect, I still would like them to have been a little bit bigger. But I still like the fact that they're a patch, they're an you know, they're a solid patch there that I can work with. And so the next instructor, instruction was to draw on top. And I'm using a cream coloured Posca paint pen to do some mark making and adding in some flowers, some leaves, just a variety of different types of effects over that panel. Now I'm quite aware here that Probably the only bit I like of these is where it's in the white, in the over the black, and so I decided that I would add in some extras. So I found my little uh, white gel pen, and up close I can see the marks, but it's not showing so well on the camera here. Just adding another layer though, because the gel pen kind of dries a little bit raised, so it does add another texture. Continuing to work on these three panels. Thought maybe I needed to now go back and re add some more of the dyes because I'd added the texture paste, I felt I covered a bit of the colour. I mean, part of this whole process is learning all the time, of course. I've been smearing a bit around and I thought I'd smear that one round quite a bit. Add some more colour into a bit of the background, a bit of scribbles. But as you can see it comes out quite wet and runny. So I've had to go through a little bit of dabbing and adding on extra um, you know, drying in between each one. Now the next next bit to do was to add in a little bit of collage to the window. Now the collage that I've added um, was significant to me. I was looking on a website and finding um, a 
picture of it's a it's a whole heap of little squares which has pictures of what the blood in the heart looks like with different vibrations and it would make made all different patterns so I was fascinated by that because I really am working a lot now on really heart focused um, artworks and where you know what, what brings me joy and so it was interesting that I've added this little heart collage in from the blood in the heart I wanted to highlight and bring out my um, background a little bit the drawings and so I've got a very fine black pen to go over the top of the Posca and to fill in some of the areas that just weren't showing up and I'm realizing that I'm getting a lot of wobble from my um, filming so sorry about that my uh, camera's on a yoga block and I think it's must be coming off near the end or something I'll have to fix that up uh, I'm using Mod Podge so we were instructed also to give another a little bit of collage outside and away from the box to draw the attention away a little bit. I've just ripped out a couple of little squares from uh, my glue book that I've been using and then the next instruction really was that we seal it. So what I've been using throughout for any sealing and collaging is the Mod Podge and it's, this is uh, the straight mix. Sometimes I have a 50-50 mix for some things and I'm just sealing the whole thing. Now I'm aware that I can go and work over this later but for now these are the three finished um, pieces. Uh, we'll be watching a video tomorrow so day three won't have it, anything that I can upload. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed day two of this little project. See you soon. Bye for now.